Hi guys, so today we're doing a get ready with me um, for a hen's night. So I first start with putting a headband on just to help keep the hair out of my face a little bit. Um, you know, we don't want to get makeup all over our nice hair. So my face has been feeling a little bit oily, which is weird because I have the driest skin in the world. So I'm going to use a little bit of a mattifying uh, primer. So this one is just by Benefit and it's the Professional. Um, so it's just going to help keep any oil or anything at bay. Um, so we're just rubbing that all over my face. And we're going to start with my eyes today. So I'm using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Um, we're just going to rub that all over my eyes. Just to create a nice eyeshadow base. So today I'm going to be using um, some eyeshadows from my custom Z palette. Um, so you can get these on eBay or even from MakeupGeek.com. Um, I, I absolutely love mine. So we're starting off with a shade from Makeup Geek called Chickadee. It's like an orangey shade and this brush is from um, the Polyon. So it's a, a fluffy brush on one end and then a flat shader on the other. So just going ahead and putting Chickadee all up um, on my eyelid and in my crease um, just as a transition shade um, so don't mind my nice purple mirror that I've got in the way there um, it got in most of the shots so I'm really sorry about that um, next we're going to be using creme brulee which is another makeup geek um, shadow I'm going to be using um, the same brush just tapping off the excess and we're just going to put this um, a little bit lower in the crease area just to create some more definition um, this look does have a lot of blending in it, um, so I fast forwarded it. Just blendy, blendy, blend. And um, okay, so next we're gonna do the um, actual lid of, for the eyeshadow look. And yeah, my fix plus was all the way over on my other cupboard. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is just spray the flat shader end of that brush with the fix plus. Just get it nice and moist and that's going to help us pick up um, the eyeshadow and it's going to make it um, a bit more pigmented. So the next shade that I'm using um, to go all over my lid is another shade from Makeup Geek. Um, it's called Cherry Cola. So it's like a, a burgundy sort of brown. Like It just depends on what you wear it with. Sometimes it can look really brown and sometimes it can look more purple. Um, I have found with um, purple shades that they are really hard to get them to not look patchy like no matter what you do they're always going to look patchy so here I'm just putting layer 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 until I've got the um, desired color that I want and then I'm just going back in with a little bit more of that transition shade on the brush and just blending it all out just making it look really nice and seamless Just going in on the other eye, just doing the exact same thing, picking out more pigment and just trying to get as much as I can on the brush um, to put on my eyelid. And then yeah, just the same thing again, just blending it out, blend, blend, blend. Next, um, going in with the brows. So this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. I'm just combing out my brows a little bit. What I like to do with this product is put it in the lid and it just helps distribute, distribute, ugh, speak Jess. Um, it just helps distribute the product evenly throughout the brush. Um, it just gives you um, a better base to work with. You're not like clumping product into your brow and you can just blend it out a little bit easier. So if you guys would like to see um, how I do my eyebrows, then um, give this a thumbs up and leave me some comments and um, yeah, we'll get that happening for you guys. Okay, so now for foundation. So this is the NARS Sheer Glow. Um, I think it's in the shade Deauville. Um, any products that I don't mention, I will list down below for you guys so you can have a look down there. Um, I'm using a Morphe flat shader brush um, just to blend this in all over my face. 
Um, so, and I'm not going to go too much under my eyes either because we're going to be putting some concealer under there. So we don't want to layer up the products too much. Just avoiding the eyebrows there and um, just making sure that we blend the products down our neck as well because even though this color is a good match for my skin, um, you do want to make sure that it's blended out just so you don't have any harsh lines. And now we're going in with the concealer. So this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Um, I absolutely love this concealer. It's full coverage, it doesn't crease. Um, but the one thing I hate about it is the um, packaging. It's so hard to get out. So what I actually do is I use the NARS um, Creamy Concealer Applicator. Um, I've actually finished mine, but I use I kept the applicator to use. So I pump a little bit of the um, MAC um, concealer on the back of my hand and I actually go in with um, the applicator from the NARS one just to put it on my face. Um, I find I use less products and um, it's not as wasteful and it just makes it life easier. And to blend that all out, I'm using a damp, damp beauty blender. So you always wanna make sure that it's damp because otherwise um, it won't blend out your concealer properly. It makes it patchy and it just soaks up all your product. So I'm just using that beauty blender again, um, just to clean up the line of my eyeshadow as well. Um, I'm not making it too sharp, just, you know, cleaning up any extras so that it's nice and clean, yeah. So next, we're going to bake under my eyes a little bit just to stop that concealer from creasing throughout the night. So I'm using a Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just packing that all under my eye area just in a triangle shape. It's going to really help brighten um, that area and it's going to make everything stay in place. Now for the rest of the face, um, I am using another powder. This is the NARS Pressed Powder. Um, I do like that dewy look, but if you don't set the rest of your face, um, you can have like your bronzer and everything else. It goes patchy, um, so you have to put a powder down as your base just to give you something good to work with. So I'm taking a really small um, flat shader brush and I'm just going in underneath my eyes um, with Cherry Cola um, just to sort of balance out the eye look a little bit more because it is quite dramatic on top. Um, so now I'm also going to add um, a little bit of winged eyeliner here. Um, you can use any products that you want but this is just my favourite. It's, um, it's like a felt tip pen almost. You just draw it on and that's it. Again, if you guys would like to see um, a tutorial on how I do my winged eyeliner, then um, leave me some comments. Now I'm going in um, with the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. So I'm just using just a um, like a duo fiber brush here. Just putting that on my cheeks and all around my forehead um, just to give me a nice bronzed up look. So these products, oh my god, I've had this forever. I don't even know what the shade is called, but I'll find out for you guys. Um, obviously, you can see that I've hit pan dramatically. Um, so I'm just going to use this to contour. So I just use um, a Sigma brush and we just take it right in my cheekbones um, just to help give us a little bit more definition, chisel those cheeks out. Um, I like to go under my chin and make my chin a bit more defined as well. And um, everybody puts highlighter on their cupid's bow. But another trick to making your lips look fuller is to put your contour shade underneath your bottom lip. That's going to help make it look a little bit more full and uh, voluptuous. So just doing a little bit of nose contouring here as well. Um, I really hate my nose. It's like the worst feature of my face. And so for that reason, um, I never put highlighter on the very end because um, I want my nose to look thinner and longer rather than rounded because it's already quite rounded on the end. Um, I didn't show you guys this product, but I'm going in with a little bit of blush. Um, it's by MAC, I'll mention it down below. And good old Mary Lou, she's going to help brighten those cheekbones right up and um, make it so that we can see us from outer space. Yeah, so just on the cheekbones and on top of our cupid's bow, um, make our lips look nice and just a little bit on forehead because why not um, and just down the middle of my nose um, but not so much on the ends 
And now we're going in with um, the Definer Lash. This mascara is a perfect dupe for the Roller Lash by Benefit. Um, I do love both of these products, but this is just a nice um, like drugstore dupe for you guys. Okay, so I'm just going in with a lip liner now. So this is by Napoleon. Um, I'm just using this to just go around the very edges of my lips because we are going to be using um, a darker colour for the middle of our lips but this is just going to help give us a nice um, area to work with rather than just going straight in with the lipstick. Okay, so today I'm using um, one of the Melted lipsticks. I actually got this in a sample um, from a box. Um, it was from Mecca because, you know, they spend enough money in there so they give you free samples. Um, but I actually love this colour so much, um, so when it runs out, I'm definitely going to buy another one. Um, I think this is in the shade Chihuahua, and these are really good. They don't dry out my lips, um, they last all night, you know, they're just perfect. And uh, yeah, guys, so that's the finished look. We're just going to take off our headband and fluff up our hair, and we're good to go. So um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, if you would like to give me a thumbs up um, leave a comment below about what you'd like to see next and um, just subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, it's really gonna help me out and um, yeah I hope to see you guys in my next video bye